What's exciting for us when we enter the motion capture lab is we have the opportunity to take a device or technology or therapy and actually test it on human subjects. Impact for us starts with human data and that's the data we hope to gather here in the motion capture lab. My research is translational research. My focus has been primarily on infants and toddlers developing synthetic muscles called the second skin. And we've gotten many insights into the design of these muscles by using the motion capture lab to see how we might place them, what size they should be, how much force or torque they should generate. We're designing soft wearable robots to assist with walking. The nice thing about the Motion Capture Lab is that it provides a great resource for helping to understand how humans walk very efficiently or how patients with disabilities are not able to walk. Really to understand human performance, we need to take an experimental approach. So we use the Motion Capture Lab to be able to record biomechanical and physiological data we can bring to bear a variety of sensors, from muscle activity sensors, to accelerometers, to measure limb motion, to motion capture with the marker system, to even oxygen consumption. Stochastic resonance is a sensory enhancement technology that improves balance and performance by vibrating below perceptible levels. So it's basically getting neurons to fire without causing them to fire. We are incorporating this technology into medical devices, including a vibrating shoe insert to sensitize neurons in the foot. So the Motion Capture Lab is really an invaluable and critical research tool, and without it we really wouldn't be able to know the effect of these systems on human performance. The engineering cycle uh, requires rapid turnaround, redesigning prototypes uh, through many iterations, and the amazing feature of the Motion Capture Lab is that we can go into the laboratory conduct studies, and then modify the devices in a relatively short period of time. In a traditional institution that would be involved with device design and testing, you would actually build the device and then contract with an outside service or agency to actually do that testing. So what the Motion Capture Lab allows us to do is to accelerate that early testing phase. Because we can build, test, and evaluate on human subjects, and we can do that in a single lab and we can do that here. That's the only way to really gain an understanding if our designs and control strategies are moving in the right direction. So it helps us fail sooner and it also helps us succeed sooner.